Okay, hello everybody, it is me, General James, and today we're going to be doing an experiment. There are two parts to this experiment. And this experiment is from Janice Van Cleve's Earth Science for Every Kid book. It is um, experiment number 88 about currents on page 194. The purpose of this experiment is to determine if temperature affects the motion of water. Now what we will need are red and blue food coloring. Red, blue, four, or no, two clear uh, plastic drinking cups and two big jars. And then we got a Yeti, a small Yeti cup for to hold our ice. And then we're gonna use a turkey baster. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour this ice into this big container of water. And then we're going to let this sit for about five minutes. Okay. So now that our water has been in here for a little bit, now it's ice cold, like how the stuff is in. And there we go. So I'm going to pour this water into this small cup. Not much, just a little bit. That's about good. There we go. We'll put that right there. And then we're going to pour this blue dye in. Have to be bad enough. Okay. So then um, we've uh, put enough cold or we've put enough food coloring in here to where it's starting to get pretty dark and pretty blue. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this fill up this big jar with hot water, which is in here. There it goes. Really warm water. There you go. That should be eh, more. There you go. Okay. So then we're gonna use this turkey baster, and then we're gonna put it into this blue water. And then suck it up, and then put a bit in here, and then we're gonna see what happens if or when we put it in the water. Now my my dad's gonna do it because um, I wasn't able to. So then while he's doing this, hopefully what'll happen is when he puts it in that wa this water, the warm water, hot water actually, the co this uh, cold one. Is supposed to stay on the bottom of the cup or of the bottom of the jar, and it looks like it is good. Ooh, that looks cool. Okay. So now we're going to do the second part of this experiment. So rather this time than putting cold water into hot water, we're going to put hot water in cold water. So we're going to pick up the, the big container of cold water and put it in the big jar. One. Okay, so we got that in there. So then now, we're going to put this really warm water into this cup, about there. And then this time we're going to use red food coloring rather than blue food coloring. There you go. There you go, that should be that good. 
it around a little bit. And then my dad, once again, is going to scoop the hot water from here, or use the turkey baster, baster, baster and put it in the cold jar of water. <laughs> okay, and then what it sh this should do is that all the red stuff should go to the very tip top. Let's see if that's what happened. Oh, yeah, look. If you follow that piece right there, or that piece right there, it goes straight up. The results, the hot wa the hot colored water rose in the cold water, and the cold colored water sank in the hot water. Why? The cold water contracts or gets closer together. The hot water expands or moves farther apart. This makes a drop of cold water more dense than a drop of hot water. Because the molecules occupy less space, the denser cold water sinks and the less dense hot water rises. Vection currents are the results of water and air movement due to changes in temperature. Here's the ice. Okay. 
So we got the Yeti cup. 